Welcome to uh, uh, Intercourse. Um, just uh, a few things to uh, talk about before we uh, hop on uh, hop on Skype. Um, I know I've been reading on uh, Twitter that there's been some issues with uh, getting online, getting bumped, and, and I think we're still sort of uh, working out some uh, um, some of the technical things. Uh, but uh, uh, Jason Hall and uh, 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 and his team are uh, uh, are uh, have been working on it. So hopefully it'll get a le little easier. Um, I'll kind of figure out a little bit more of what this is and what we're doing, and uh, we'll continue to uh, to figure it out. Um, we uh, as uh, as promised, uh, we have issued our uh, our um, our fan challenge for. Uh, uh, for season seven, um, we've been doing it the last three or four years. The basic concept is if we um, exceed last year's ratings by any margin um, in the primary demographics, um, that uh, and uh, by any margin, I mean like two fucking viewers is good for me. So, uh, um, we will then, uh, this year, we're going to, because uh, it's the final season, so we're up in the stakes a little bit. Um, we're going to have a larger uh, group of people that we're going to bring out. I don't know the exact amount yet, but um, my sense is it'll probably be 10 to 20 people. Um, unfortunately, this is just open to uh, U.S. fans, um, which means all you people... Uh, uh, you know who illegally pirate my show will will not be able to uh, be invited to uh, the fan challenge. Um, uh, I kid, of course you don't illegally download my show if you're living in fucking Romania. Of course you don't. Um, uh, so anyhow, we're going to uh, um, uh, we're gonna f we're gonna fly you out. We're going to. Um, put you up um, in a hotel that has a bathroom and running water and probably even a bed. Because um, Fox spares no expense. Um, and then we're gonna invite you, we're gonna do our, uh, we're gonna do a finale party. Um, uh, I'm not sure where we're gonna do that yet, but, um, um, Oh, well, my wife is calling, which means that she's having Skype problems. Uh, 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 I'm not sure where it's going to be. It might either be on set or on at a movie theater. We're not sure, but it'll be a uh, it'll be a shindig. Um, we'll show the finale, have some kind of after party. Maybe the Forest Rangers and Katie perform, and then um, we'll do the Anarchy Afterward show live. So um, the winners of the fan challenge will be invited to uh, to that event and all those things. Um, as far as how we choose the winners. Um, it's pretty much like we do it every year, which means um, there's my beautiful wife. Hi, Katie. Um, we'll uh, we'll pretty much do it like we do it every year, which means um, uh, we'll just sort of pull it out of our ass and and uh, uh, and uh, have no real system. Um, what I've been doing actually the last six months or so, I've been collecting a little file of uh, of um, uh, uh, social media people uh, people whom uh, tweets I've really enjoyed or who have retweeted us an awful lot or just incredibly um, uh, loyal and uh, not scary uh, fans. So um, I will have, I'll choose, um, some of them I will choose from that file. And um, uh, I'm... Uh, sure. Uh, he, he noticed, he noticed, he looked. Show the fan challenge. Oh, it's oh, back it. connection. Where are you? Hi. We're losing you. Hello. Please. Say hi. Hi. What's Say up? Say hi. We're all here. Yeah. What's up, my brother? Yeah. Just Can you hear us? Yeah. We can't hear you. Yeah. Hello? 
It's pretty much like my hold life. On, yeah. We can't hear you. Okay, hold on. Wait a minute. I know. We're about to start the shot. Do you want us to call you back? Hold on. Say hi, Drea. Hold on. Hey, here, Katie. Say hi. Hi. What is that? Oh, hi. <laughs> What's going on there? Okay, we have to go now because we have we have to go shoot the show. Okay. Are you going to call back? Well, I'll try to call back. Can you hear us? I can hear you. Yes. Okay. Let me. They're about to call. I have to get into the TV show right now because they're calling action. I'll call you back. Hello. Hello. There's Tommy. Hello, sir. Hello, bud. Char oh, here's Hello. Charlie. Wait a minute. Here's Charlie. Here's Charlie. Hello, Char bub. Oi, oi. <laughs> Hello. Hey, boss. Hi. Hi. Here's Dan. You have a lovely Hello, day. Hello, Charlie. Hello, Hello mate. Uh, go, okay, oh, we have to go. Uh, Peter's oh, yelling at us. Here's the first AD. All right, call oh, back. We'll call you back. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Give them that kid some cereal. That, that, uh, uh, that was my live phone call into set. Uh, which uh, was uh, subject to the fact that uh, uh, we actually have a schedule and have to make our day. And I can't do it. Okay. okay. Um, so let me finish. Let me finish about the fan challenge. Turn Katie off. Cut that. Um, oh, if it was just that easy. If there was somebody in the sky, I could just go, hey, um, can you turn that off? Um, um, uh, anyhow, where was I? Oh, so the fan challenge. So I had this little file that I've been collecting of crazy, insane, loyal, dedicated, ridiculously fans with no life who watch our show. So, uh, so I'm going to, I'm going to pull from that file and then we will take all my, um, all my, like I'm fucking, you know, Adam Levine with 77 million fucking followers um uh um my handful of uh instagram uh twitter and uh facebook followers and um uh we will uh uh sort of do a random selection of people uh as well so it'll be people who you know obviously have worked for it and then there'll be people who are just uh lucky to be following and participating um uh, as I said, we can only uh, open it to uh, U.S. fans, and uh, I know that's difficult for our Canadian brethren, but, um, you know, uh, fuck you, you live in Canada, you know. Uh, so, um, I kid. Uh, so, uh, and then but what we're going to do is also we'll do what we did last year, which is we'll do um, uh, like a... a um, sorry, uh, <clears throat> having a little acid flashback. We'll do um, the international package uh, we did last year, meaning we'll we'll collect like ten uh, uh, ten fans, international fans, uh, uh, and then send them big swag packages with uh, with a lot of our new swag, um, uh, which actually just came out. Um, if you go to the uh, Fox marketing website. Um, we have some really cool stuff that just came out. Uh, a whole cigar line, um, uh, and uh, I don't smoke cigars, but uh, apparently, uh, uh, apparently they're pretty good cigars. I'm told. Um, uh, so what else? So that's the fan challenge. What am I forgetting? So we're going to send swag packages to our um, our our, uh, our foreign fans with uh, uh, DVDs and 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 such. Um, uh, but, 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 but I also I also have tickets to um, uh, the Forest Ranger gig uh, September 12th um, at uh, the El Rey here in Los Angeles. Uh, I'm going to give away some of those tickets out on social media. Obviously, those are for uh, SoCal residents. Um, so uh, we'll do that, um, and that too will have. Uh, no rhyme or reason. I'll just arbitrarily pick people, and uh, or perhaps my assistant Katie will pick people, and uh, um, we'll get people to go to the show. Um, 
if uh, uh, if you don't know about it, and if you if you live in Southern California, um, it's a pretty awesome show. Uh, you know, Bob Thiel, who's my music producer and composer, has put together this house band. And, and you know, I say house band, and they're probably some of the most talented and, uh, uh, you know, session guys and musicians, um, uh, uh, you know, in California. And um, um, so the uh, Forest Rangers are a really talented uh, group of cats. And... Uh, um, and Katie will be singing. We'll probably have uh, Frankie Perez singing, um, Billy Valentine as well. Uh, I don't know if Curtis Steiger's around, but uh, if so, he will be there. Um, apparently, Curtis Steiger is huge in Germany. Uh, that's what I'm told. Um, uh, what else? So that's it, Fan Challenge. Uh, oh, premiere. Apparently, we're premiering this week. Um, uh, uh, Tuesday, 10 p.m. FX Networks. Um, it'll be depending on your cable company and where you live. It could be, you know, Monday at 6 a.m. or Friday at 12 in the afternoon. So check your fucking local listings. Um, that's it. Let's, uh, uh, maybe Katie will call back in a bit, but let's go to some, uh, Skype folk, please, while I drink an, an incredibly unhealthy energy drink. We are going to open up the Skype lines for anybody who wants to call and talk to Kurt. And it's... Yeah, there's someone. Someone driving. I love that. <laughs> driving. And Someone is driving and Skyping. We, that was, that, oh, Xander, did you cut them off? That's fantastic. I got my first ticket for texting while driving the other day. All right. Z Xander's working on opening up the line, so he's doing yeah. that. Um, in the meanwhile, if you, if you look down below, there's uh, oh, the yes, text yes, chat. You, um, you know what I've noticed about the, the, the scroll on the bottom, though? They're mostly talking to themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Better respond to them, then then they'll just then they'll start talking to you. Right, right. Oh, here's the driving girl. She's literally driving and skyping. That can't be good. It, um, it's not. Seem to be so great. Yeah, she's driving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just afraid, like, if she gets cut off, it means because she hit a fucking tree. So <laughs> maybe we shouldn't promote that. Thank you. All right. Um, um, let's see. Let's go down to the bottom. We say um, uh, Sindadu uh, uh, says that we love you, Kurt. Thank you. I, I love you, too. Uh, DJ Nimbus, which uh, is ironically my porn name, uh, says thanks for hanging out, Kurt. Um uh, Guru Randall uh, want to Skype in with us. Uh, oh, he apparently works for you because he's telling people how to Skype in. Um, and uh, DJ Nimbus um, is still uh, is still rocking the show. Oh, she's back. Are we trying? Did you park? Tell her she has no. to call over and park. I can't stop. She's driving. No, wait. I wanted to ask you something though. Okay. Are you really driving and Skyping? Wow. Okay. Don't, Ask quickly. Don't make me that question and incriminate myself. Referred okay. on Skype. Okay. And, and please okay. don't tell me you have like three small children in the car with you. <laughs> oh, no. My kids are at home, dude. I swear. <laughs> okay. All right. So what's your question? Okay. So first and foremost, are you going to be at the show on the 12th supporting your beautiful, lovely, amazing, talented, awesome wife? Well, fuck, now that you put it that way, I don't really have much of a choice now, do I? <laughs> yes, I will, be, uh, I will be at the show. Um, I usually sort of hang out backstage, and, uh, um, uh, but uh, yes, I will definitely be at the show. Uh, I didn't make the last El Rey show. I think I was, in, uh, I was at a mix, but uh, yes, I will be there on the 12th. Yay, then will I'm pretty sure there? we'll be there you but i will be there in attendance i saw her at stagecoach it was the only reason i bought a ticket and they were amazing so i bought like three million tickets to the el rey show so me and a bunch of my friends are going and it should be pretty cool yeah it's great it's great the forest rangers are an amazing band and uh 
Um, and uh, and Katie has been working with Bob. He produced like her last two records, her last three records maybe. So um, uh, they work really well together. So it should be a good show. Bob's a freaking genius. I also just bought that studio tour and lunch with him to help like put towards uh, the completion of their album. Oh, good for you. Good for you. Yeah, so I'm excited about that. That's pretty cool. Oh, no, no, no. But, um, oh, what I wanted to ask you about this show. Will we ever figure out who that creepy-ass dumpster lady is? Please tell me. The who? The creepy-ass what? The homeless woman? The dumpster lady. Yes. The dumpster lady. Um, we already know who she is, technically. If you if you pay attention last season, we sort of, we sort of allude to who she might be. But far be it oh, for really? me to judge, to judge your participation in watching the show. Um, I don't know. You know, look, here's what I think. It's not my job to tie up every loose end at the end of the series. It's my job to sort of continue to, um, uh, to reveal the mythology. And my sense is that when it's all done, um, the amount of mythology that people will have will be very satisfying. But, you know, I don't want to tie up all the loose ends. I want people to still be thinking about stuff. You know, um, I'm uh, so, uh, you know, we may, we may not know who she is. Um, you know, I think we get a sense of, of uh, perhaps the the magical component of who she is um, by some of what we revealed uh, last season. It's the episode that we introduce um, the character of Brooke. So, if you want to go back and watch that episode, you can uh, you can do that. And uh, I'm going to stop now because I well because you're still alive. So let's let's take her off because I don't want her to get into an accident. Thank you, darling. We'll see you at the show on the 12th. That reminds me. Thank you because um, I want to plug Bob Thiel, and I don't have any of the fucking information here. But Bob is um, what's it called? It's called Artist Pledge, I think, or something like that. I will I will I will tweet the information again. It's um, it's this great thing where you basically pre-order um, the new Forest Rangers album, and they then use that money to actually produce the album. And uh, so you you make a commitment to buy it, and then there's bigger packages where you can, you know, uh, be at a be at a show or be at the mix and 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 hang out with these guys. I think there's one where um, you know Bob takes a bath with you. I'm not, I'm not quite sure how much you're getting charged for that, but you may want to look at that. Um, uh, so, uh, 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 okay. Before I get myself in trouble, let's go to, uh, this lovely couple up here. Is that, uh, uh, box number three? Yes. Yes. Woo! Can you hear us? I can hear you. Oh, awesome. First of all, we love you. We're from Thank Canada. You. What's Tig's deal with the dolls? Uh, you know, I, I tend to um, uh, imbue my characters with some of my own um, demons and, and phobias, um, and uh, I, I hate dolls. So uh, uh, I, I, uh, I, gave, I gave Tig that, uh, that phobia, and um, uh, Katie tells a great story. When we first started dating, she had these creepy-ass, like, fucking like Hindu children dolls uh, on, on the mantle of her fireplace. And she had like five or six of them. And they would creep me the fuck out. And every time she came back in, they were like facing the other way. They were facing the wall. And she had no idea what was going on. She just thought I was nuts for like the first three months we dated because I, I kept turning the dolls around. And I finally had to confess why I was actually doing that. Um, but... Uh, 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 yes, that's uh, and I forget there's an actual name for um, for the doll phobia. Um, uh, yeah, I, uh, uh, small world is the scariest fucking ride in the world. So um, that's uh, that's takes did, deal. Did you see my last Sutter picture? The what? The what? I created the last Sutter picture. Oh, is that you? That was me. That you was like it? Somebody, somebody showed it to me. Who showed it to me? Oh, Weller. Peter Weller showed it to me. That's awesome. I, any, any, any opportunity to be blasphemous uh, is, uh, is, is pretty good in my book. But uh, that, was very, that was very funny. And, uh, 
It was awesome. Thank you, darling. Thank you. Love you. Love you. Thank you. And let's go to this young lady uh, in box number two, behind door number two. All right, Kurt, I have a question for you. What's your and name? My name? Yes. Your Sharon. first name. What is it? Sharon. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Kurt. What's your question? I've been on twice, so I'm kind of cheating here. All right. My question to you is, can you share a memory on set that is something that you will never forget? Like, what's your the best memory that you have from being on set either in character for Otto or just in general filming, directing? Hmm. Um, wow, there is so, uh, uh, not to dodge the question, uh, but there are there are so many um, really uh, memorable <laughs> moments. Um, I think uh, the ones that I, were at, that I was actually on set for, because there's so many moments that are powerful that I wasn't there, you know, um, uh, uh, because uh, somebody else was directing or, um, uh, or they were on locations. Um, I think probably um, would have to be uh, last season, um, uh, last, uh, last year's finale. Um, watching that scene, uh, um, you know, it wasn't so much the, the, the murder that was that memorable because at the end of the day, stuff like that is so much a combination of acting and stunts and prosthetics and props. You know, it's a very technical piece by piece process to put that all together to make it look as realistic and brutal. So it's much more um, impactful in post watching it all come together. Um, but I think directing and working with Charlie um, uh, for that last scene um, in finding uh, in finding Tara was just um, you know uh, we actually came back and 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 uh, uh, because we had spent the day before doing all the the murder and and the uh, the stunts for that and it was such a grueling day in terms of um, busyness that we actually came back the next morning to shoot the uh, um, the reveal and uh, and Charlie's scene, and it was such a powerful and uh, and beautiful scene and, and heartbreaking. And uh, so um, right now, that's probably my most potent memory of actually being on set and and witnessing uh, uh, you know witnessing the um, uh, the actors and and the crew and and uh, um, and everybody sort of working together. But that was a great question. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, a young lady in box number one. Me? Yes, you. What's your name? <laughs> my name is Marcia. I was calling in because my nep or my my brother in law is a big fan of the show. But hey, I started you, watching. I'm only on season two. You don't have to qualify and pretend it's for your brother in law. You can ask your own question. <laughs> no, it really is. No, I really. My, my brother in law is a big fan of the show. I'm only on season two. I was wondering what it was like to Skype with her. I'm sorry. I was wondering what it was like to shoot with Leah Michelle. Oh, you know what? I wasn't on set with Leah. Um, I knew that she was um, a big fan of the show. Paris Barkley, who's my uh, writing, uh, who's my directing producer, um, is also uh, one of Ryan Murphy's go-to directors, and and he had direct. He's directed a couple of the really big episodes of Glee, um, and. Uh, um, so he uh, knows Leah very well and um, knew that she was a big fan of the show. And we had this character um, that came up uh, uh, in uh, this season. And it was sort of a one-off, you know, it was just one, one episode, but it was these really cool sort of character-driven scenes. And, uh, and I reached out to Paris in terms of if, if, uh, if Leah would, uh, would be interested in doing it. And, uh, and she was very enthusiastic. She was very excited to do it. Uh, she totally came to play, um, you know, because it was uh, unlike perhaps other things she's done in that, uh, you know, my show, you know, nobody gets pretty, you know. And uh, um, uh, so she, you know, it was no makeup. It was sort of a frumpy waitress outfit. And, uh, uh, and she, um, you know, 
I mean, it's hard to make Leah Michelle look frumpy, uh, and uh, <laughs> but because uh, uh, she's you know she's beautiful, but uh, um, uh, but she did an awesome job. I just. Uh, I just locked that episode about uh, three or four days ago and uh, uh, couldn't have been more happy with the work. So uh, I didn't get a chance to, to work with her, but uh, I'm very happy. I'm, um, we have our premiere uh, party uh, tomorrow night, and I, I think she's going to be there, so I'll be able to say hello to her and thank her. So thank you. Um, gentlemen in box number three. Hey, man. Hey, how you doing? It's an honor to meet you, finally. How are you? I am fantastic. Is, I've been waiting to come on and listen to you for a while. I uh, I saw Intercourse when it first uh, was on Facebook and I think G+, and it was all over the place, and I happened to miss it. I had family issues. Man, it is just an honor, and I love your show. I mean, I know you hear it a lot. It maybe even get a little tired of hearing that, but I'm going to be generic and say... I'm just going to be honest. I really, really enjoy it, man. And there's some of these episodes, and particularly with Kate, it's like um, it really, it really can get a hold of you. You know what I mean? And yeah. I think, I think that's kind of what you're going for. I mean, I could be wrong and a little presumptuous, but <laughs> when, when when you angle at that, and I watched like when Kate got beaten, and right. I watched that, and it it like hit me on a level as a man. Um, not a misogynistic situation or an alpha situation, but as a guy who has, you know, had, we, we all have girlfriends that have been through that. And right. when I saw that, it was like, I really realized that you were really onto something and I want you to not, not here. There's the presumptuousness again, but keep up the good work because that kind of thing, even though it's gritty, it mm -hmm. has, it shows the humanity and the light at the end of the tunnel through all the hell that they go through. No, oh, thank you. I, uh, you know, we don't, uh, I don't try to do things for, um, uh, you know, I try to do things that feel organic to the world and the character and, uh, and, uh, and not that, not that, um, highlighting a, a, um, an issue is a bad thing. It's just not necessarily what, we do, um, but when we have an opportunity to uh, um, to include something in story uh, that I don't necessarily um, uh, I don't shy away from it. You know what I mean? So yeah. uh, um, so you know, as far as the rape went, as far as you know, you know, look, you saw how volatile um, their relationship was between uh, Gemma and Clay. You know, it was Pretty incredibly the beginning. Yeah, from the very beginning, and and uh, and but in both parts, you know, I mean, Gemma was probably as physical and as abusive as Clay was. You know, it was a very oh yeah, you know, it was a passionate, very um, very physical relationship. Let me, and, let me ask you something: when you wrote Gemma and that situation, um, it reminded me of a situation I went through not five years ago. Uh, did you draw that from some personal experience? Uh, no, it's been a really long time since I beat Katie, so it was hard to remember. Um, but, uh, uh, no, you know, it's not personal experience as much as, as you say, uh, um, uh, that we, uh, uh, that it's very prevalent and, uh, you know, we know a lot of people that have experienced that, um, you know, I have, I have good friends and, and, uh, uh, who have, uh, who have also experienced that as well. And, um, um, um well, it's hard to, to back off when a woman attacks you because, you know, your mother always tells you, you, you never hit a woman, but, you know, to see her, you know, take control and literally like work a guy over it, it really, I, I, that's why I asked, I was curious if there had been any kind of, because it was so realistic, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? It really hit something deep. Uh, no, I mean, I, uh, um, uh, not so much. I mean, other than, you know, I think the story we told was organic and, and, uh, didn't sort of come at it. Uh, you know, it wasn't gratuitous. And, and, uh, so, um, uh, uh, and then I had, you know, I had two really amazing actors. So, uh, uh, it was. Uh, you can, it's okay. You can say it was brilliant. It won't be pretentious. It was right. freaking brilliant, man. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, 
I'm gonna let I'm gonna let um some other people Skype in. I don't want to hog the Skype. Don't hog, don't hog. We'll do one more. Um, do we have Katie calling in at all, Sander? Haven't had her call in yet. Uh, this is oh, the eye has. in the sky. Okay. But... All right. Hi, eye in the sky. Two and four have audio. They're just not showing video because maybe they're shy. Um, what about eight? Was there anybody on eight, or is that um... eight? We've been reserving for Katie to call in. Okay. Well, uh, you know what? We're. Uh, um, uh, I don't think they're going to be able to call in just because I think they're, you know, probably fucking working or something. So, um, uh, so I think I'm going to wrap it up. Um, I've been on for 127 minutes now. So, uh, uh, um, thank you. We will continue to do this, uh, on Friday nights. Uh, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun for me. Uh, it's a great way for me to keep all you folks informed. Um, you can watch this, uh, archived, um, on Twin Galaxies, and uh, we're supposed to be able to put it up somewhere on, uh, on a YouTube on, channel. The the original uh, blog is, YouTube channel. Is it on the YouTube channel? We, okay. we, we, it goes to your assistant who puts it up, I believe. Perfect. So it's on uh, the What the Fuck Sutter site. It's on Twin Galaxies. Um, thank you very much, uh, Jason Hall and uh, Xander, uh, for being my uh, eye in the sky. And um, uh, I love you guys. More information on the fan challenge. Please retweet. Please let folks know about it. And please show up Tuesday night, um, 10 p.m. Uh, on uh, FX Networks. Thank you. This is blown at you from uh, 8. Hi. <laughs> All right. All right. Thanks, guys. We're out. We are here with Monolith Productions, and they have created an amazing game called Shadow of Mordor. I'm here with Michael, who is the uber designer of Monolith, overseeing the entire known universe. Actually, we're, we're pretty excited here today because we've got Bob Roberts, who's the lead designer of the game. We've got Jessica Masnika, producer, and we've got Ryan Ladine, one of 